to think about shame, guilt, embarrassment, humiliation. Pastors of the world have so much trust and respect over you that you really have a hard time processing and understanding it. Also tonight, former Speaker of the House and confessed child molester Dennis Hastert released early from federal prison. The decision shocking one of his accusers. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. The candid and emotional interview by accuser Scott Cross just hours after the disgraced speaker returned to Chicago. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar joining us now live in the newsroom with that reaction. Charlie. Rob and Erica, good evening. Hastert is back under Illinois supervision after serving 13 of his 15-month sentence in a federal facility in Minnesota. One of his accusers says he came forward after keeping it a secret for decades in the hopes of encouraging other sex abuse victims to speak up. Boy, one of the hardest things anybody could have ever go through. Scott Cross waited decades before coming forward, saying that his old wrestling coach at Yorkville High School, Dennis Haster, sexually abused him, talking tonight with CNN. The um, Hastards of the world have so much trust and respect over you that you really have a hard time processing and understanding it. But Hazder tripped up after it was revealed he was paying sexual abuse victims to keep quiet about the allegations. June 2016 is when we last saw Hazder, his wife rolling him into a Minnesota state prison to serve his 15-month sentence. I was a little, to be honest, disappointed in the the sentence that was uh, given out. The former powerful politician locked up for violating banking laws, not the alleged sex crimes, which fell outside the statute of limitations. Now out from prison, unclear where the ailing Haster will serve his remaining time. He's got medical issues, though, and I doubt that the Bureau of Prisons is going to want to keep him in a halfway house. He's either going to be placed in a nursing home, a hospital, or home under the care of a doctor. Part of me said, I want to come out and have a voice in this and try and make a difference. And Governor Rauner's office says the governor will sign new legislation that eliminates the statute of limitations for sex abuse victims under 18 years old. Live in the newsroom tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.